maybe you have heard about the Banzai Charge. It refers to a human wave attack by the Japanese infantry units. This tactic was often used by the Imperial Japanese Army during the Pacific War when the Japanese commanders foresaw that a battle was about to be lost. During the war period, the Japanese government disseminated propaganda that romanticized this attack method using one of the virtues of the Bushido, the Way of the Warrior, as the basis for the campaign. The Japanese government presented war as purifying, with death defined as a duty of the soldier. So the Imperial Japanese Army wasn't known to have any issue with wasting the lives of its troops, but even still they had medics to provide aid to wounded men. The Japanese military did have an established medical corps with excellence of care like all the other nations. There were company-level enlisted medics, battalion aid stations with doctors, then regimental field hospitals, and finally a system of evacuation from the theater. But there were several reasons why we do not know much about the Japanese medics. The Japanese army in active combat against the Allied forces in the Pacific suffered terrible losses, often fighting to the point of total destruction. Correspondingly, outside of a few diaries or the few POWs, many battles are only known through the Allied accounts. The capabilities of Japanese medical attention was very poor compared to the Allied nations. The US medical establishment especially was at the end of a massive logistical effort with an extensive system of out of theater evacuation for the severely wounded. The Japanese generally had to make do with much less, and usually were fighting isolated from their supply lines due to the successful sea interdiction. The medics had a major problem with surrendering just like the rest of the Japanese soldiers did. And they were not wearing anything like a red cross that specified their task. So they were probably killed in a battle just like the rest of the Japanese troops. In the final part of the war, the Japanese did not conduct field operations. For the most part, they built defensive bunkers and underground facilities and simply waited for the Allied troops to come to them. They expected to die, but the objective was to blood the enemy so that they would decide not to continue the war. Thus, their medics were rarely out in the open like the American medics. The number of Japanese soldiers captured were an extraordinary small fraction of the Japanese military until the Japanese emperor ordered to surrender in August of 1945. In addition, some wounded Japanese soldiers tried to take out Americans who came to their assistance. Thus, there was not a lot of interest in taking prisoners among frontline troops. The primary concern of most Japanese POWs was the shame of surrendering and how they would be regarded by their family and neighbors and friends when they returned home. Once in American hands, Japanese soldiers, including the medics of course, were correctly treated. If they did not die of wounds, virtually all Japanese soldiers survived the war. They all gained weight in US hands and were in relatively good health at the end of the war. In fact, the Japanese POWs and medics were treated better than the Japanese army treated their own men. It is interesting to note that some of the Japanese medics had been in the US and studied medicine in the States. One of them was Nobu Tatsuguchi, 
a Japanese soldier and surgeon who served in the Imperial Japanese Army. He was killed during the Battle of Attu on Attu Island, Alaska, United States in May of 1943. A devout Seventh-day Adventist, Tatsuguchi studied medicine and was licensed as a physician in the United States. He returned to his native Japan to practice medicine at the Tokyo Sanatorium, where he received further medical training. In 1941, he was ordered to cease his medical practice and conscripted into the Japanese army as an acting medical officer, although he was given an enlisted rather than officer rank because of his American connections. In late 1942, Tatsuguchi was sent to Atu, which had been occupied by Japanese forces in June of 1942. In May of 1943, the United States Army landed on the island, intending to retake American soil from the Japanese. Throughout the battle, Tatsuguchi kept a diary in which he recorded its events and his struggle to care for the wounded in his field hospital. He was killed on the battle's final day after the Japanese conducted one last Banzai charge against the American forces. Tatsuguchi's diary was recovered by American forces and later translated into English. Copies of the translation were widely publicized in the United States after the war. The American public was intrigued by a Christian, American-trained doctor serving with the Japanese forces on the island and by his participation in assisting with the death of wounded Japanese soldiers in his field hospital during the battle's final days. Translated excerpts from his diary have been widely quoted in Western historical accounts of the battle, especially his final entry in which he recorded a farewell message to his family.